Hello ambitious people, I know you've got the song and you want to release it and I'm here to tell you how. Let's get into it. Now I know that songs can really be like your babies but babies grow up so parents need to let go of them at some point. And the reason why I'm saying this is because usually it feels like the hardest moment to release your first song but in the big perspective of things this is probably gonna be one of the songs that put you on the map but people are gonna forget about it fast. I love the first song that I put out but it was just the first song so don't think too much about it. So first to get your song mixed and mastered. This is a step that will bring your song to this industry standard and it will make your song ready for release. There's tons of ways to find sound engineers that do this including freelance platforms or asking your friends. Number two, name and cover art for the song. Now here you want to think about the vibe of the song and for me personally making a cover art wasn't really complicated because I have an eye for art but regardless if you do go on Pinterest make a mood board for your your cover art and gather some references. And this is an important step because whether you're gonna work alone or with other people, you need to be able to communicate how you want your cover art. So you know what they say, a picture is like a thousand words. So be ready with those examples. Step number three, you have the cover art, you have the name of the song and you have the audio file of the song. So now let's distribute it. Some people choose to release with a label, but if you're just starting out, in my opinion, the best way to do it is independently. Because at this point in your career, you probably don't know what good or bad contracts look like and you don't want to rush into a deal that might hold you back in the future. So step number four is choose a distribution platform. Now there is a lot to choose from and they all have their perks and their weaknesses. So analyze them and think for yourself which one is the best option for you. I personally use DistroKid and with it you pay an yearly fee but you get to keep 100% of your royalties. DistroKid offers features like getting verified on Spotify, claiming your official artist channel on YouTube. So step number five, let's upload the song. So the easy steps are artist name, cover art, audio file, name of the song. You will also be asked which platforms you want to release your song on. I usually go for the main ones. So now it's time to pick a release date. If you don't really have a fan base and you're just starting out, do it as soon as possible and start promoting that song. If you do have a fan base, you can pick a later date and tease the song and get pre-saves. And now it's time to pick the genre of the song. And if you don't know what it is, you can just Think about the song that is the closest sounding to your song and Google what the genre for it is and then add that to your release. Then there is the question about which label is releasing the song. If you don't have a label, which you probably don't because this is your first song, you can put a random name there. You can put the name of your artist or you can create something. I chose Fairyland because why not? Then they will ask you if there are any featured artists and this means a guest artist, someone that is not part of your band if you're in a band. I'm sure you've seen this before on a lot of major releases and smaller ones as well. Then they will ask you if this is a radio edit, which is usually when you've released a song that let's say is five minutes long and then you have a version of the same song that is two minutes. That would be the radio edit. Then they will ask you if the song is a cover or not. And yes, with DistroKid you can release covers as well. Then you add the songwriters and everybody who has credits on the song. And it's important for the steps to add their real names because this is how you're gonna get paid. The rest of the questions are self-explanatory, so I'm sure you got it. But if you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. And the last step is to register with a royalty collecting society. In the US it's ASCAP or BMI, but each country has its own royalty collecting society. And this is how you're gonna collect even more money with the song. And I've got some extra things that you should do after you release the song so that you're prepared for the next one. So when the song goes live, make sure to claim your Spotify for Artists profile so you can be able to change your profile picture, add a banner and really customize your profile on Spotify. And the same thing goes for Apple Music and many more. So congrats on the first release, now go promote the out of your song. And if you're interested, I've made a super detailed checklist with descriptions and more information about including content ideas, pitching to magazines, what is a press release, how to pitch to playlists, and so on. You can find it on my website. I will put the link in the description. Now, good luck with your release. I believe in you. You can do this.